So the first goal that we're going to be grappling with this semester is demonstrate critical reading and rereading strategies for expository and persuasive writing. And I just wanted to give you guys a little fireside chat to kind of break down what that means and what we're thinking about when we're thinking about critical reading and rereading strategies. So a lot of times students look at that goal and they think critical reading, okay, I got it. I know how to read things critically. But one of the things that they forget when they're looking at that goal is that we're not talking about the critical reading itself, we're talking about critical reading strategies. And so we're thinking about what strategies do I use in different situations to read something more critically. For example, we, you know, we talk about um, different kinds of reading you read differently on the beach than you do for your biology class. And we're going to read differently from our textbook than we will from a website on the internet. Both of those things are different. They require different skills and they require different strategies. And so we have a lot of different strategies to help us with critical reading. And we reviewed some of those this semester in our text. But, you know, we think about things like annotating, summarizing, asking questions, highlighting, um, making notes in the margin, those are all critical reading strategies. Those are tools that you can use. Now the trick is to put together a toolbox of critical reading strategies and then think about with each reading assignment, all right, which tools am I going to use? Which ones am I going to pull out and apply to this assignment? Now the other part of this is we have critical reading and then we have rereading. So as opposed to Comp 1 where we just thought about critical reading strategies, in Comp 2 we're not just reading things once, we're not reading it just twice, we're reading it several times. And you know the value of reading something more than once. And sometimes the strategies we use in the first read are going to be different from the strategies that we use in the second reading. Um, you know, we might apply different tools. And it's, you know, those rereadings are going to be different depending on the goal of each assignment. So as you're working on this goal and as you're thinking about writing for expository or writing that explains or also persuasive writing, writing that persuades, we really want to be thinking about are we reading um, the material that we're working on in class? Are we reading our um, articles from the web and from our book? Are we reading one another's work critically? And then are we really reading and rereading our own work critically? What kind of strategies are we using to read our work and read other works in a really effective way? So that's goal number one. We're going to be thinking about these goals all semester, but really take a look at, you know, what kind of rereading or what kind of reading strategies do I use now? What can I try? And as you go into a reading assignment, think about that toolbox. So what kind of tools do I want to use? Um, lots of different tools are available to you. You can mix and match the ones that work best for you. But think about, all right, this is a project, this is an assignment, this reading is something that I need to be critical about. How am I going to do that? All right, good luck.